Hey, what's going on, English class? It's me, Matthew Casbom, with Ethan Cook and Carlos Mendez. Today we are going to prove. <laughs> today, today we are going to prove to you that our world is not dystopian. All right, so let's go on the road. Here we are going to travel to the United States of America, which is our selected choice or location to prove to you guys that we don't live in a dystopia. So let's go on this magical pressure plate. And here we are set in Vail, Colorado. Hmm. A mountainside with a sweet village going upwards. Seems to me that we have... Is Jerry? Jerry the construction worker. Jerry the construction worker. worker up here. So here, let me read out Jerry's, Jerry's quote here. Hello, I am a construction worker. I went out and found this job on my own and didn't have the government assign me a job, unlike a dystopian world. Here's a quote that describes a free country of America. Or United States. The United States is a federal republic whose people benefit from a vibrant political system, a strong rule of law tradition, robust freedoms of experiment of expression and religious belief, and a wide array, wide array of other civil liberty. Thank you very much, Jerry, for that information. Oh my god, thank you so much, Jerry. Yeah, okay. Um, now it seems right. that we have Hardy's. Here we have Hardy's. All right, so um, Hardy says, Hello, welcome to my antique stores. Here I sell release from the past. Something that I can do because I live in a non-dystopian world. Here is a quote that describes a dystopian world unlike the world I live in. A dystopian is, therefore, a place in which huma humanity is dehumanized and people live beautiful lives. Further, governing societies are totalitarian regimes and often are faced in severe environmental catastrophes. Thank, Thank you, you very much, Hardys. I appreciate you, so you giving your opinion. Um, okay. Yeah, oh, and now <laughs> we are uh, George. Hello, I am George. I like to wear silly outfits because I don't have the government telling me what I need to wear. Also, because I'm not a part of the caste system, unlike the caste system in the book 1984. Here is a quote from 1984. Who controls the past controls the future. Who controls the present controls the past. Orwell 34. Thank you very much, George. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. All right. All right. And then coming up here, we have John. He's got his own little story here. Uh, John. John DDW, I guess. John yeah, DDW. All right. Uh, maybe I need to move yep. a little bit. So uh, All right. Here we go. John says, welcome to my shop. I was able to open this. Open with. Okay. Let me restart. Yeah, welcome restart. to my shop that I was able to open with my freedom of choice. The opposite of dystopian. Mm -hmm. Here's the meaning of dystopian: a very bad or unfair society in which there is a lot of suffering, especially an imaginary society in the future after something terrible has happened. That's a description of such a society. Thank you very much, John. You are clearly knowledgeable Thank in you. this dystopian um, area. All right, now let us travel to San Francisco. Ooh, a rainy day in San. Okay. <laughs> <Let's go. laughs> Okay. Here. Okay. All right, Here, let's check out this boat that is conveniently parked right by where we spawned. All right. Oh, if it isn't Franky. Carlos, you want to read this one off? Hey, Carlos, take no, it. I don't. Okay. All right. Well, hello. Welcome to my boat. I like to sail the seas because I live in a non-dystopian world, and I am able to leave and go anywhere I want, anytime I please, and speak with anyone. Here is a quote explaining why we don't live in a dystopia. There is still space for perspective and fellow feeling. We can still laugh with strangers over how silly it all is. We can still make memes sending the whole thing up. <laughs> Who picked that quote? Okay, thank you, Froggy. Yeah, was... Thank you, Froggy. You. Fine. All right, that's great. That's great. All right. Um, oh, let us travel to San Francisco a little bit more. Um, let's go on the bridge. Man, whoever built this bridge is a genius. Um... Yeah, Just throw a it. trident at me? Chill, Carlos. Okay. Um, would you look at that? A lighthouse. Yeah, let's give this another shot. Okay. Mike, how are we? Mike, how are we? How are we, Mike? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I love how our world is dystopian. Look at the view. Did I mention our world is a dystopian? From the book Big New World, it said... One egg? No, I cannot read this, guys. Okay, I'll take over. One egg, one embryo, one adult, normality. But look at the, look at a bacchanalified <laughs> egg will bud, will proliferate, will divide. Oh, wow, I see why. 
for, from 8 to 96 buds, and every bud will grow into perfectly formed embryo, and every embryo, uh, well, em <laughs> embryo into a full-sized adult, making 96 human beings grow where only one grew before. Progress. This is the opposite of what our world is like here. That is so true, Mike. What, what, a, what a non, Mike. or what a dystopian quote. He's there. so knowledge. It's he is so the opposite knowledge. of what our world is like. Let's go to this. All right. <laughs> Let's check this humongous building out. This looks wonderful, by the way. Ooh. All right. <laughs> Let's check. Let's take the elevator. Oh, here we are at the top floor of this organization. Oh, it's Harry Maguire. All right. It's Harry Maguire. <laughs> <laughs> I right. guess I'll take this one. Yeah. Hello, I am the boss of the NGA, a very non-dystopian association. Unlike the book 1984, we have freedom so that the government isn't telling us how to live my life all the time. Here is a quote from 1984 that displays the opposite of what we experience here in our world. In the end, the party would announce that the two and two made five, and you would have to believe it. It was inevitable that they should make that claim sooner or later. The logic of their position demanded it, not merely the valid, whoa, validity of experience, but the very existence of external reality was to uh, test tech, technically denied by their philosophy. I'm sure that was a typo, Harry Maguire. All right. Thank you wow, so much. Harry, um, so um, this is a great room, by the way. Um, let's go back down and let's check out what's going on in uh, the old um, elongated yeah, White House. Uh, the, um, Carlos, what did, what did you call this to, again? I, I need to make the, this architecture. Though. Oh, so what's this building called? What's this oh, it's Sky Crater, uh, right? Yeah, yeah. All right, let's Sky go with Flinkle. Oh, it's Flinkle. <clears throat> hey, Flinkle. Hey, the people have to be right. in place. Uh, in so, Carlos, do you want to read this one, actually? He's doing I'm it right it. now. Oh. <laughs> Just listen. So, Flinky says, People have the freedom of choice to go where they want. So I welcome so to welcome into a government building to go view what our government is like. Unlike the old world, we have many branches of government, including a city, a person, also a house. Here is a quote from Brave New World, so in the country, one person has to play well. All day in the garden, it was playtime. Thank you in the forms of John Sanchez. <laughs> Beautiful oh, voice right, you have, Flinkle. All right. Yeah, I think, they can read it the video yeah, I think they'll they'll lot, get but, they'll get uh, that. All right. Really so let's um. All take right, this man, We'll have you read Obama here. Oh yeah. Let's take this elevator here and oh, would you look at that? It what is, is that the U.S. Congress. Yeah, Cardin, is um. Oh, it's it's Ben Cardin. Shh. Oh, you gotta be shh. quiet. Obama is talking. Okay. We got uh Sherrod Browna, uh, Lindsey Graham, and Sergeant Buffernet. All right. If it is, oh, it's Obama. All right, here we go. Oh my God. <clears throat> hey, I'm Obama. Here are some character characteristics of a dystopian world. What are the nine characteristics of a dystopian society? Um, information and independent are controlled and restricted. A single leader or figurehead is followed blindly by much of society. <laughs> uh, my throat. Oh, there is. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, there's an understanding that one is always being watched. The prevalence of propaganda. Citizens live in constant fear. The individual is dehumanized. Only the collective is important. Uh, the environment is typically destroyed and ignored. Uh, conformity is valued above almost everything else. And society gives the illusion of perfection. Uh, but it is truly corrupt. Uh, dystopian society is characteristic example. Thank you so much, Obama. That Thank was, you so much, Obama. He literally na or gave us That's nine characteristics of a dystopian society, which we can I love you. which we can compare to our world right now. Um, 
I don't need it. Um, so, all right. Well, with, I believe that's all so, we have. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope now you understand why our world isn't a dystopian or society. Um, if you still think it is, you're wrong. As, so as we've provided multiple um, people with perspective and evidence. Um, yeah, thank you. And yeah, that's it, really. All right, goodbye. Bye. Bye. This humongous building out. This looks wonderful, by the way. Ooh. How nice. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> that will be cut out. <clears throat> uh, all right. <laughs>